What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today we're doing the 2020 Georgia college football predictions and breakdown. Honestly and truthfully, I see Georgia and Florida being a pretty even match. Um, it's going to be a coin flip in that game, and then Georgia also has Alabama in the season, but we'll go over that in a second. Um, Georgia is only returning two starters on offense, which is, um, yeah, it's not good. It's the lowest in the SEC for returning starters. Um, they're returning eight on defense, so... They're definitely going to keep teams low scored. I have major questions about their offense putting up points, though. Um, let's see, let's see. Only two players returning on offense are the center and the offensive line. So three new people on the offensive line, new quarterback, new running back, new wide receivers. Yes, the running back and wide receivers did get some play time, but they weren't starters. Um, they lost three players on the offensive line. New quarterback will start. They lost DeAndre Swift as their running back, who is probably their best running back on their team. Wake Forest quarterback Newman, Jamie Newman, transferred, and he is a beast. I made a lot of money off him at Wake Forest last year. Uh, he is very good. If he gels with the offense quickly, um, they're going to be poised to make a playoff run. If, But the issue is with the virus... Um, all the spring practices were canceled. So that's 15 practices that he could have had with the team as a new quarterback and new to the team and getting used to everyone, getting the, used to the speed of Georgia compared to Wake Forest. It is going to be night and day to him. His players are going to move a lot faster, and he's going to have to he's going to have to work on his throws and everything because everything's a little faster than the SEC. Um, he did play Clemson, I guess, and they got the speed. But other than that, he didn't see, he didn't see SEC speed last year other than Clemson. Um, experts, I, lo I love this. I did a bunch of research. Experts, probably 100 of them, are picking Georgia to go 10-2, and 11-2, or 12-0 and 0 as possible regular seasons, wins, and losses. No shit. Uh, they're not going to have three losses. Uh, there's no way that it's just not happening with that schedule. Um, Vegas has Georgia at plus 900 to win the national championship. If you want to put a little $50 bet on that or a $100 bet on that, it's not a bad bet. Um, I personally think the bottom bet is the bet if you're going to bet Georgia. But uh, the new quarterback, Jamie Newman, has 10 to 1 odds on winning the Heisman. That wouldn't be a bad bet either. If he gels and they go 11 and 1 and then go to the SEC championship, and somehow pull out a win against Bam in the SEC championship. He he's going to be good. Uh, he's going to be up there. He's going to with his with the schedule of the SEC playing Bama twice. Um, he's going to have games where he can show off. And then Vegas. This is the one I would bet if I was going to bet anything. This is the one I would bet. Vegas has Georgia total wins at ten for the preseason for the preseason bet of the regular season. So twelve games. Vegas has them at ten. If they have 11 wins at the end of the season, you win money. I don't see them losing twice. Um, maybe. I, th I, I know what Vegas is doing. Vegas has them losing to Bama, and then they have them losing to Florida. Um, do I see the Bama? Yes. Do I see the Florida as a coin flip? Yes. Uh, so I don't... I think that's I think that's a good bet, honestly. I don't see Georgia beating Bama, Ohio State, or Clemson. If they made the playoffs to so the national championship bet, I'm not I'm not too fond of. Jamie Newman, I like that bet. I will honestly probably make a bet on him for the Heisman preseason. And then that Georgia 10 wins, um, I'm probably going to put some money on that and go over. Um, if they lose to Bama, I think they'll learn a lot. And we'll look at their schedule real quick. So Bama's week three, the no spring, the no spring practices hurts them a lot. They got Virginia first week. Virginia was a decent team um, last year, but Clemson destroyed them. So the only team they played all season that had talent just destroyed them. So I have a feeling Georgia's going to destroy Virginia. Um, they're not going to learn much from that game. The offense isn't going to see the, the new nine starters on offense. Uh, isn't going to see the speed of they're going to see in week three. So it's not the best week one uh, game for them. Week two is a warm-up tune game, try to fix stuff, stay healthy. And then week three, they have Bama at Bama. Will there be fans? Who knows? But uh, even if there are no fans, I don't think they win the Bama game. I think this early in the season, I think George is going to have to grow and get better with the new quarterback. This is only his third game. It's his first game seeing a dominant defense. 
Uh, I think they lose that game five, seven points, somewhere around there. It could be more. Uh, I'm actually very interested in the spread on that one. Week four, easy win. Vanderbilt, easy win. Auburn, I don't think Auburn's going to be able to do much against Georgia's defense. So I'm going to give them the nod on that. Uh, at Missouri, not worried about that. By week to rest up. And then the neutral site, Florida, largest cocktail party in the world. Uh, I mean, I see how Vegas has them at 10 wins, but uh, you could almost... <laughs> You could almost stack that bet and take Florida and Georgia over. Um, and whichever team wins, you're going to win. And the other team still has a small chance of winning that bet. Uh, at South Carolina, it's not going to be much. Tennessee at home, it's not going to be much. Tennessee is going to be a good team this year, but they're not going to be Georgia. Uh, at Kentucky, it's not much. And then Georgia Tech. So preseason, yeah. it's gonna. I, I see them going 11-1, 10-2. Uh, I don't see them going undefeated. I see them definitely losing at Bama. I could be totally shocked if they beat Bama. And if they beat Bama, then they're definitely going to go 12-0. and So if they beat Bama, Jamie Newman, Heisman, is looking amazing. And the win total over 10 is looking amazing. So hopefully this video gave you some insight into the Georgia 2020 season. I'm going to break down Florida next. And uh, then we'll move to another conference and see what's up. I don't think we have to do ACC because it's Clemson. Um, Big Ten, it's Ohio State. I don't see a reason to doing that either. Uh, Pac-12, maybe Oregon, USC, break those down. Um, I don't think Utah is going to have a repeat of their year last year. And then uh, what is that left? Big Ten? I already said that. Big 12? Uh, it's going to be probably Oklahoma, maybe Texas. I'll probably break down both of those. But SEC was the main focus because I see two SEC teams getting in the playoffs. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you some insight. Hopefully the casino is open so we can bet. I don't know how they are where you're at, but uh, in Tunica, it's very – I don't even think they've opened preseason betting yet. So hopefully when you need this, you can use it and take care.